Good morning. This, my friends, is the eBags TLS Mother Load Mini 21 Wheeled Duffel Bag. <laughs> quite a quite a mouthful. And I'm here to, to tell you why I think this is maybe the best carry-on that you can buy. Hi, I'm Arnie, and here we talk travel. We talk travel accessories. We talk camera gear. If you're into any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below. And don't forget, click that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. Oh, and by the way, make sure that you check the show notes down in the description so you can find out even more about this great bag. Now, a lot of reviewers will talk about a bag that they might have gotten and used, oh, maybe once, maybe twice. I'm here to tell you that we have had this bag for somewhere around six years, and it has traveled many, many thousands of miles in that period of time. It has gone into through airports, airplanes, carry-on, check-in, trains, <laughs> Uber, taxis, uh, gosh, uh, up and down cobblestone streets. It has had a lot of use in those six years, and I have to tell you that it has served us well. Now, when we travel, we travel for extended periods in Europe, two months-ish, and we get everything we need into this bag. So let's go over this. By the way, there's hardly any wear on it after all of that. It, it's truly amazing. So let's, let's get into this. The exterior dimensions of this bag are 21.5 by 15 by 9. Interior, obviously, is going to be a little bit smaller, 20.5, so an inch shorter. It's 13.5 by 8.5, so not much difference. The exterior is a heavy-duty nylon-ish kind of, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's some kind of nylon. And on the bottom of it, the back of it, I guess you would say, is this heavy-duty um, shell of some kind. I'm not exactly sure what it's made of either, but it's got a nice feel to it here. Nice imprinted e-bags down the middle of it. It's solid. If you look closely enough, you might even be able to see some of the scratches. Like I said, this has gone, this has really, you know, stood the test of time going up and down stairs, inside, outside, so, taking a look, you have one small pocket on top. Actually, let me start out with an even smaller one. Right up top, here's this tiny little one. Inside, it has a little belt for attaching, boy, it doesn't want to come out of there, for attaching uh, external bags. Okay, there it is, nice little buckle. I've never used it, to be honest with you. That's why it's probably so stiff coming out of there. Then you've got this next one down that looks like it's about a foot across, about five, six inches. It's not very deep, um, but it's good for putting things that you need to get to quickly. Passports, possibly. Uh, I've had headphones in here, a variety of different little things. So that's... Pocket number two. Then also on the outside, you've got this pocket that's kind of hidden in the seam here. Opens up, goes inside this. This is pretty substantial. Again, you know, wh what you put into these is going to be your choice, obviously. A lot of travel documents here. Maybe you uh, have a paperback book, your magazines. Any number of things can go into this thing. Additionally, 
you have this pocket and it opens up into the main compartment. It folds down and you can see that it goes all the way down depending on how you want it. This part here divides the bottom and the top part of the bag. It also has tie down strap here. Inside the lid you've got this mesh lining again for whatever you want it to be used for. Dirty laundry? Who knows? It's your choice. Continuing on the outside of the bag, one of the things that makes this a great bag to use is the number of grip handles that you have. You've got one here so that you can grab it uh, on the flat front here. You've got another handle up at the top up here. And this part right down here is not just to balance the um, bag when it's standing up. This is also a grip handle. Lots of, lots of places to hold this and get it up. I was just noticing you might be able to see here. I'm not sure it's pretty small, but there's some wear and tear here. This is not a new bag. Little place over here for your you know, ID if you want to do that. <clears throat> You'll notice that it has buckles, compression buckles here to really cinch it down. It does expand. I'm going to take unbuckle the ones in the back here. It does expand by another two inches. Again, that's something that we don't use that often because we're trying to make this as compact as possible to get into planes and what have you. But when we're on a road trip driving around Europe or wherever, then we do just let it, <laughs> just let it hang out. So uh, there, it, it does have the option of expanding as well. Like I said, it's about another two inches, which gives you quite a bit of space. The handle has multiple, this is going to go off the screen here, has a, about three, I believe, different, yeah, about three different lengths. Now, let me share with you, I've mentioned this in other videos, I'm six foot eight, and this bag works great for me. The handle goes out long enough where I'm not kicking my heels against this bag as it's trailing behind me. My wife is 5'5". Five five. She thinks this bag is great also. It fits her well. The handle goes to whatever height she needs it. It's perfect. Now, if you're taller than 6'8", then <laughs> it may not work for you. Not too many times have I come across somebody who's taller than me who travels. So, of course, if you're an NBA player, <laughs> you may not be interested in this. All right, so anyway, there you have um, the exterior. I can't think of anything else that, out, that we need to talk about out here. So let's open this up and look inside. You'll notice, first off, the bright, bright orange interior makes for a, you know, a great background when you're looking for things. It, nothing can get lost in this thing. So this part closes off the upper part of it. It easily zips. There are obviously two more mesh pockets here for you, again whatever you want to put in there, something I, I tend to throw my dirty laundry in here as we're moving along. The um, kind of unique feature of this is that there is this shelf that is comes along with it and is held in by Velcro. 
you'll notice that even I, with my size 16s, can get my shoes across this way. Now, I did this for you so you could see how it works. I can't do this because I put in I usually use one of these Eagle Creek folding um, packet systems and I put all my pants and shirts folded tight, compress it down. And as you can see, if I use that, I can't use the shelf. So I'm, gonna, I'm looking into maybe trying something different. But for most people, this is going to be an absolutely great system for getting a pair of shoes in here and the kind of out of the way you know, and then you can put your um, packing cubes or however you pack down here and over here it really is a, a well thought out bag and has you know everybody talks about how, how you can get so much you know there's only so much space that you've got here and if you're trying to fly with a carry-on bag there's just only so much you can do We've used a lot of bags over the years, and this is the one we've probably had the longest that I can recall anyway. And uh, I highly recommend it. As I said, this is not a review. It's not wasn't uh, something that was just sent to us to be looked at. We have used this bag extensively over the years. Short trips here in the States extended two-month visits to Europe. It's seen a lot in its lifetime. Now, is there anything that I would want to change? Yeah, I think so. Over the years, now, oh, by the way, before I get into that, obviously, it's wheeled. And these wheels are super quiet. Love these wheels. I, I just can't get over how great these wheels are. And because eBags figures that this is going to last you for quite some time, as it has us, if these wheels wear out, they are replaceable. You don't have to go and get a new bag. I think that that's a, a great um, a great touch. Something that, uh, you know that eBags is thinking of its customers, not just a, its profit. So anyway, getting back to what I was saying, is there anything that I would change? Over the years, I've noticed a lot of those bags that have the four wheels. And I got to tell you that sometimes I like the idea, and I'm thinking that we might be upgrading here. I'm not sure about it, but we've talked about getting a bag that has the four spinners, just because it's a little bit easier to maneuver as you're going down the aisle in the airplane or in line. Just, yeah, it's one of those things that we're, that we're considering. All right, there you have the eBags TLS Mini 21, whatever the rest of it was. I can't remember it now. <laughs> Great carry-on. I think you'd be happy with it. I know you'd be happy with it. There you have it. If you like this kind of content, make sure that you give us a like, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with friends who might be looking for a bag. Thanks for stopping by. We do appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Thanks so much.